Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm back with some exciting news. Today, I have got something epic to share with you all. Stable Diffusion Excel 1.0 is finally here. Yeah, you heard that exactly right. It just arrived and we are about to dive into all the cool stuff that it provides. So in this video, I'll show you how to get output from Stable Diffusion model, okay? Which is like 1.0. So without further ado, let's get started. And the good thing is we can run Stable Diffusion Axel 1.0 in Comfy UI right inside of the Google Colab. And this is a great thing if you talk about convenience. No need to mess around with like downloading and installing stuff onto your local machine. I have sorted the setup for you guys on the cloud where you can run this and test your model, okay? I will link the Colab file in the description so that you can also run this thing without any hassle. Alright, so let's see how to get started. So first thing first, what you need to do, you just need to make sure that runtime is selected as T4 GPU, not simple CPU. Because you know that these computations take a lot of resources. So running them on the GPU, I would save a lot of time and pain and it would increase the efficiency as well, okay? First of all, we need to mount our drive so that we could save the amazing results that this model will going to produce, okay? First, I need to just uh, mount my drive. So I'll simply continue anyway, okay? Run anyway and it will actually do its setup for you in a while. Yeah, it's installing the libraries you can see right over here. Some of them are already installed. So here it says like requirement already satisfied. All right, it's done. You can see right over here. Okay, so now what you need to do, you need to download some model checkpoints. Okay, so what I need to do, I'll simply uh, uncomment this thing because I need this thing like a uh, base stable diffusion axle base 1.0 and it's refiner as well. So I'll simply uncomment these things and I'll comment this thing out because I do not want this one right now. So, and everything is fine other than that. So I'll just simply click on this run button to run this cell. It will download the model for me in a while. These are the large files, but you don't need to worry because you are connected to like Google's server. So the speed here is actually extraordinary. All right, you can see that it just took a minute and it's all done okay now what we need to do we need to run comfy ui with cloudflare uh, which is the recommended method so i'll just simply run this cell to see what is the output of this thing so you can see here is the link i can just simply copy this link come to the new tab paste it here and enter and boom you can see right over here that our comfy ui has been loaded okay so the first prompt i'm going to test here is like beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle okay here i just simply need to increase the width of my image to 1024 and the height as well to 1024 okay and i will keep the batch size to 2 for now so that it generates two images for me so I just need to click on Q prompt. So you can check the progress of this thing from here as well. You can see that God prompt model type is EPS ADM 2816. So it will take a while. On the first attempt, it will actually take some time because a uh, model is doing its thing and its stuff. So after that, it will be all easy. Okay. So you see that SDX clip model is loaded and now it's doing its thing. You can maneuver these settings as well. Okay to see what actually works best for you. Yeah, prompt executed in like 75 seconds. So I will actually get my image in a while. So all right, you can see that I got this image. If I just uh, open up this image to see how it looks and the second one as well, pun image. So yeah, this image looks extraordinary. You can see right over here that the details are outstanding. It's actually looking pretty cool and the Second image, you can see right over here. This one also is really detailed. Okay, this one looks really nice. All right, so now I am giving it a new prompt like robotic hand with gold and white accent. Okay, so I'll just simply queue this prompt in to see what image it generates. All right, so my prompt is working. You can see right over here. It's actually uh, 
doing its thing okay and it will be here in a while all right so it just gave me two uh, images you can see right over here the first one is this one this one seems really amazing so let me just open up this image and the second one as well so both of them are like really amazing you can see the details okay it's extraordinarily amazing image okay and this one just look at this thing the robotic hand okay and this was my prompt like robotic hand with gold and white accent so how amazing these images are you can see right over here okay all right so now i'm increasing my batch size to four and i am giving it another prompt okay like an astronaut sitting on the moon friendly town background stars and beautiful okay so let's see what it generates with this thing i'll cue my prompt in and it will now load the model once again and then it will provide me with the images let's wait for a while and see what images i get with this thing yeah this time it's taking more time because you know we increase the batch size to four let's wait for a while and to see like how these images look i am really excited to see this one yeah prom executed in like 110 seconds still relatively fast all right we got our results and to be honest i am really amazed by the quality of these images okay so look at this one how detailed this one is and how beautiful and amazing this one look and this one as well this one seems really nice and third one also you can see a beautiful town at the background and it's looking really fantastic and amazing the fourth one also is like really great so yeah this model has the potential to actually surpass many closed source models that are available in the market okay so one more thing to mention here like uh, this model is uncensored all right so it can really create uncensored images so I'd highly recommend to use this model in appropriate manner, okay? But you can also experiment with generating restricted photos as well for experimental purposes, okay? With this powerful tool, you can unlock a whole new world of creativity and push the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine turning ordinary photos into mind-blowing art and that's possible now because of this open source stable diffusion Excel 1.0 model that leave everyone in awe. That marks the end of our this video. I hope you liked this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.